<laughs> what's up everybody and welcome to this i don't know what to fucking call it episode that andrew and i recorded before our yoga flow um on the other day and it was a fun little chat uh we both came with apparently some shit on our mind, even though necessarily we didn't know. And we just showed up and it's so fun to see what happens when you don't come in with a plan. It always ends up being something new that you haven't experienced before, even though it always would have been otherwise. But it's a lot, it's a lot more fun just charging into the future with an embrace of uncertainty rather than trying to resist uncertainty at every turn. Hey, fucking men. It's like I trade having a plan for being myself and the less plan I have, the more opportunity I have to be myself. So I don't, I don't remember what we talked about in this, but I know we got into some shit and uh, I don't, it's, it's funny. Cause I don't even remember. And there was, there was some stuff and I was going through some stuff. I remember. But uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. Sometimes these are going to be recorded after the episode. Sometimes they're recorded before. Sometimes maybe they won't be recorded. Sometimes maybe we'll just piece together two conversations and just throw them together. And that's the beauty of this. Because why the fuck not? There are no rules to, uh, to the Dualist Community Podcast. And it can kind of be whatever we are. And that's all it really ever is. And, you know, you can be you. We're going to keep being us. And I hope you enjoy the pre-yoga flow chat like you can touch in a way that is not needy and it's just like supportive yeah anywho uh, yeah. <laughs> that's and like, i think that's the same i think that's the same aversion people have to look at each other in the eyes like it's connection like we almost have built an aversion to connection because we have the illusion of connection via fucking social media and i think a lot of that maybe started with like facebook and shit but yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember getting my Facebook at like 10. Yeah, I was. I Facebook I was, like, uh, yeah, at 10 years old. I think I got it when I was 14. I got it in 2009, I think. Mm -hmm. so I, was, I was 14. What year were you born? 2000. 2000? No oh, shit. That's, <laughs> that's the same as my brother. That's so funny. Uh, yeah. When, uh, what month or was October it? right yeah he's June that's so funny I, I find it and I have like younger cousin actually I have a younger cousin who lives in New York um she lives in Brooklyn she's 22 and just started her yoga training so she told me that I was like wait how old are you again Evelyn she's like I'm 22 I was like oh my shit I'm doing this with Jackie <laughs> We're doing this segment and I explained all this to her and she's like, oh, that's awesome. She's like a week in to her training stuff. I actually think you two would get along a lot. Like me and her talk about a lot of different things. She's really into weed, has her own cat. She has, yeah, we've talked about, and she's done some mushrooms too. We haven't really uh, together, I don't think. Maybe once. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Anybody? Really awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like down through my instagram <laughs> oh for That's sure cool. i actually meant to do that i'm gonna i'm gonna just make a note because i know i'll forget this again <laughs> i don't what is this? yeah that's funny it's like we have uh there's like parallel versions of, of people and i love meeting people that are like i think just open to experience I think that's the like umbrella term. I mean, no, no umbrella term is ever going to really encapsulate what I mean by what I'm saying ever, but like, um, yeah, I think that's like people who like weed, people who like mushrooms, people who like yoga, meditation, just like looking at shit deeply and feeling deeply. Um, I would say people who are open to experience would i don't know we would get along <laughs> that's that's like i feel like the if there's one characteristic to encapsulate the dualistic unity community it's that because we're not resisting experience we're open to it and then everything gets easier when that's the case and like 
you can be a little bit more nonchalant with things because like you're open to experiencing whatever the fuck happens, <laughs> right? And you know that there's something that you can learn or like practice with every moment about yourself and about experience. Well, which are fun. the same thing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Just like that willingness to jump in. That's it. And like, be a kind of like be a leader in your own life, not like leader in the egotistical sense, but like. Mm-hmm a willingness to jump in and just kind of be be on your own because being yourself is always on your own it's never you know two people being themselves don't act the same way but there's mm-hmm. a cohesiveness just by not not trying to it's like trying to be something else trying to be normal cuts down on the inherent cohesiveness because it's like different yeah. parts of the body if your spleen and your heart are trying to be the same thing that body's going to be fucked <laughs> so hard exactly but, no the body is such a good symbol to like think through shit like this or it just makes it very clear that like yeah that we're all working together like we're around each other and the way that we naturally want to behave is like we are embodying our own variation right and we're the way that we interact with other people when we're not trying to anticipate what they're gonna say really you know to an to a like extensive extent i guess um like there's always a little bit of that just in interaction in general right you kind of have to anticipate what what is going on or what might happen next but uh i completely forgot where i was going with that um what were we talking about one second ago uh that's a great question i'm like i'm I'm totally, I'm like riding by the seat of my pants. I'm like each, each word. I'm like, all right, keep, keep locking in, keep paying attention. I took a gummy like, uh, like an hour ago, not too much. I think it was probably like six or seven milligrams. It wasn't, it was a 10, but it wasn't the whole thing. I had a little bit yesterday. Um, Mm -hmm. yeah, just being yourself, jumping in. Um, Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're just being uninhibited, there's like a natural fucking, like you check each other by the way that you interact. Right. Like. And you don't have to control that. That's something that will just happen. And I don't know, the the way that you make it more seamless and make your interactions feel more natural is when you just allow them to flow rather than trying to control them. And that's something I definitely learned working in a restaurant, dude. You just have to fucking, (laughs) like, you just have to, like, say whatever is right there. And sometimes I say shit and I'm like, wow um maybe that didn't completely make sense or like if I was worried about how every single person in that restaurant was perceiving me I wouldn't be able to move like somebody's always going to be looking at you judging having a perception of you they might you know be pissed off that you forgot their side of sour cream like and that's not something that you can control and like you just have to keep it chugging and obviously I'm always respectful and my intentions are good or like you know I'm not trying to go in there and like cause a ruckus but (laughs) it's uh it's like I don't have to act perfect and I can just myself like wow what a novel concept I would have thought that like when everybody was telling me to be myself my whole life that I could actually do it (laughs) Like we, t- we say that, like be yourself and then we judge the shit out of each other for these little stupid things. And like we, now there's like this whole thing about X and like there's like little things that you do subconsciously that you need to be afraid of aching people out about. And like, it's just crazy the amount that we overanalyze ourselves when like that just really is not, <laughs> oh my God. We just have so much like access to reflections of ourselves, like, especially with social media, like being able to have a conversation right now where I'm simultaneously staring at myself is fucked in the head. Like, I hate it. (laughs) Wait, actually, I'm going to, well, maybe I do need to see myself when we actually do yoga, but I'm like, maybe I should just hide myself from you always. That that's actually an interesting thought because I, 
I deal with that too. Like on our, even on our group calls, like Patreon calls, like I'll look at myself most of the time because it's more, yeah. it's almost like more comfortable. Whereas if I start looking at everyone else, there's almost there, there I don't feel like I'm in as much control when I'm not seeing myself. Or even if I, I open up the chat and I have it on full screen and I cover myself with the chat, I'll do that sometimes. There's almost like a discomfort in that because it maybe because it's closer to like an in-person interaction like there you're not able to have so much certainty and i think even just like with you know with something like social media as much as you know for me that was a jump to get into and pretty much everyone there's this aversion to it it can become like feeling like it's real when that's not actual interactions right there there's sort of a buffer you can you can hide behind because yeah, maybe there's judgment, but it's still the uh, comments. Like it doesn't hit in the same way as like being more in person, not being able to be even as sure of like, you know, what your face looks like, what facial expressions you're making. Cause I'm trying to control, I'm trying to be in control of myself, which is just insane. And it's crazy. But at the same time, the thought of being out of control is like, that's kind of scary, right? Out of control. That's what you hear your whole life, or at least, you know, I heard. And not even like, because I know everyone's coming from that assumption that like you can be in control, but it's not even like I heard it over and over. It was just kind of always this sort of thing, like stay in control, you know, maintain control and, and how much of a illusion that is. But we've kind of built a world. It's like, feels like we're in control. Like I'm living in a right now i'm at my grandma's house but i think i'm i got a place so i'm hoping to be i told him i can move in on saturday i'm hoping let's go we'll fucking go but <laughs> like you know we live in these curated sort of places we can control the temperature we can control the environment we can control you know the weather in a sense like i'm sitting here it's like you know 72 degrees or whatever it is there's no wind there's no noises it, it's like very very unnatural but it's in control it's absolutely in control but but we can't and absolutely in control it's not in control but it <laughs> seems like it is you know and so because there could be you know a meteor could crash through this house right now that's not i don't have control of that but we've gone it's like we've pushed so far to like getting so close to ultimate control but still not having it never being able to get to it like a fucking what was that asymptote or whatever that is yeah. you know like graph can't the limit the does limit. not exist or whatever <laughs> yeah the uh, limit does not exist. mean girls and uh <laughs> but you can never you can never get to it but the closer you get the more it's almost like the more blowback you get the more repercussions the larger the repercussions out of like a natural sort of balance of the universe for reality is that blowback and so just being willing to admit that you don't is it can feel scary in the world. And that's actually, I was just reading uh, or, or working through chapter two of our book about something that I was just talking about. What the fuck is I <laughs> saying? <laughs> We're uh, talking about how like we try, like we try and keep uncertainty at bay and we get really close to doing it. Right. Yeah. Like we get, and the, and the more, the closer that we get, to ultimate control because yeah we're we control a lot, a lot of shit but like we're still gonna die and we don't know when and yeah a meteor could crash into the earth right now exactly. like we can't control everything but you were saying like there's more almost more repercussions by trying to control to this extent because yeah. you can never fully get there yeah and so you experience more i it's still not coming back i don't even know there was something specific i remembered from the book that i was just reading um, this morning about well, what's the what's go. the chapter well i don't even know if you could say yeah. uh, it's not patreon like patreon exclusive what the yeah chapter about. um i don't even think it. it's uh sympathy or no empathy wait no sensitivity yeah i'm like starts with an s uh cool. sensitivity two things yeah yeah there was uh you'll i guess everyone will have to read the book <laughs> you'll have to read the book. but yeah uh, just a little plug yeah, yeah you meant to do that the whole time you created suspense <laughs> and exactly. then you're like oh Build no guys up. i forgot 
completely forgot what I was gonna say. Guess you'll have to just read the book. <laughs> it was completely planned. And how funny is yeah. that? Like, if you what if, what if you did plan on doing all the things when you think you're messing up? It's like yeah, you're like you guys just then you can don't alive. know how genius I am. I'm like three <laughs> steps ahead of you. <laughs> exactly. And you think I did that? Like I I like tripped and fell and like. I did that on accident and so like you I'm stupid but no like I did that ironically to get a laugh and that could equally be as possible you know my intentions could be like oh no I know my friend's having a bad day let me look like a fucking dork for a second because I know they're gonna laugh right exactly make it and a fool of yourself kind of- playing the fool as they say yeah you start doing that on purpose it's uh, life can get a lot more fun, but oh it's my fascinating gosh. how seriously we take ourselves. <laughs> oh my God. We take ourselves way too goddamn seriously. Yeah. That's, I feel like the role I've kind of been falling into recently is just, did I freeze for a second? Uh, no, I think you're okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, yeah. I feel like just in my life in general, I'm being way more goofy, <laughs> just like, free flowing with things i'm not thinking about shit very much in general and i'm just like i i don't think about things beforehand and i just walk in and then i'm like all right well i'm gonna laugh my way through this no matter how it goes and it's been working so far like i'm like wow how am i still getting away with this and (laughs) that's kind of how i'm coming here i'm like okay well i'm about i'm about to teach yoga but I'm not going to think about the flow beforehand because that's kind of not really the point anyway. We're just kind of like feeling it out. That's what I want this like sort of series to be about is just like coming with whatever you have on your mind, like whatever your body is feeling like, oh my God, I haven't practiced probably in a week. So I'm not always consistent. You don't have to be. You don't have to have the perfect setting. Like I literally had to move all my furniture and like set up this whole space to like be able to record this. But usually I do yoga in my room and I just like, it's like my mat on the floor and like, it's just whatever, whatever is going on. You can just take a second and sit the fuck down and like to like be with what's real with yourself. You know, you can get curious about what you're actually experiencing right now, like, and just actually slow down because I feel like my mind is constantly trying to like fast forward. It's trying to like get to the next thing always, or like reach out for something to like satiate some need that I have, but those are always going to be there. So for me, the most beneficial part of the yoga practice is being able to be like, all right, just sit down and breathe for a second, right? take a breather it's all good no matter what so just yeah like coming with whatever you got and not taking yourself so seriously and you could just live that way all the time and so like in yoga in at work I mean at work there's different considerations right but you could still have an overall light-hearted and jovial and um like playful attitude it's like yeah I work really hard because I'm getting really good at this game (laughs) I'm I'm about to reach the next level you know (laughs) it's not because ah because I need to get this promotion to make me feel better about myself because I'm always gonna have to fucking work you know so like it's not like I'm going anywhere getting anywhere it's always just gonna be here so if I can make my day-to-day experiences a little bit lighter a little bit more enjoyable why wouldn't i do that well said because the lightest thing you can do is just be yourself it it's there's like a discomfort if you're not used to it but it isn't heavy in a sense because like trying to be something trying to hold on to control holding on like you're holding on to a weight to some degree it's like you can let it go it means there's not something that you're you feel like you're so sure of like how much it weighs, you know, how much you weigh, but it's, you're, you're a little bit more free then, but then it's a, it's a practice because you can keep picking it up too. You pick it up when you feel like you're 
not in control when you're not certain of something and then like then you're holding on to it but it's the same thing with like i was even getting a feel as you were talking with thoughts just like something you said it's like oh here's a thought about this and then and then try like almost seeing it in my mind like me trying to hold on to it and then missing what you're saying as you're talking and then seeing like this wind kind of like blowing it away and me trying to like hold on to that thought and this is like halfway through whatever you're talking about and how how it's like i don't have control of that i don't have control of the thoughts that i think and so me trying to hold on to with the assumption that there's a right thing to say or a right way to respond trying to hold on to that is just going to create a lot of tension and like maybe i could for a bit but what's the trade off like how much tension am i going to trade or relaxation am i going to trade to hold on to that certainty like is that the trade all the time like how much i'm mm -hmm. holding on is is getting paid by my relaxation and so someone who's very tense feels very sure it's like they're paying in relaxation even if it seems like you know things are all going well it's like there's a lot of tension underneath that certainty whereas you know someone who isn't as sure maybe they they feel more discomfort right now but there isn't you know there isn't as much of that relaxation invested into maintaining that so you're a little bit you know more able to handle whatever's going on i think that's exactly what it is right it's, a, it's always a balance of in yoga they call it sita sita and sukha right the effort and ease like that's what we're constantly reckoning with is where like where in my life do i need to participate and what can i let go of like and you can't completely do one or the other right there isn't a hundred percent control and there's not a hundred percent relaxation right because we have to keep surviving there's always like yeah like i need to get my next meal or maybe maybe not you know maybe i can eat not eat for like a prolonged period of time but eventually i'm gonna have to eat or i will die like i the experience will end and i guess the point of life is to live so like my body is gonna want to keep living right um but yeah it's always that trade-off of control for relaxation and that's funny that you said that you had a thought that you were trying to hold on to that was getting like whisked off and you're like oh no come back i i definitely feel that you can't control the thoughts that come into your mind and you can't control if there will be thoughts in your mind like you you for me I can always seem to find another word to say, right? Like if there's infinite shit in there, but uh, like, for example, before today, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about at all. I don't know. Like there's no grand lesson. I like it, of course, but still there, there's a little bit of a voice in the back of my head. That's like control, prepare, know what you're going to do. And I'm like, fuck off, right? I'm just going to show up. And then I do. And then we have conversations like this, right? And it's always something that I haven't thought of before. And that's only available because I didn't come in with something to say. So then we are able to make this conversation into whatever it's going to be just by allowing it to unfold that way. Um, but the thought that I was trying to hold on to is that like going through life, trying to control and like holding on is like, if you ever go on like a really <laughs> long windy water slide, like one of those tubes where you're going really fast and it's like, it, it's really fun if you just let yourself go. And like, that's what flying through the present moment feels like to me, right? Like you're like constantly in transition. You're not like in any one moment, like you're always flying in between all of them. Right. And so when you're going down the water slide, that's trying to control and resist and like hold on to things. It's like, putting your hands on the sides and it like burns and like creates friction and it like makes it way less fun. Um, and you're going slower. Like you're like, you could be just 
flying on by. And in, in terms of life, that means flying through your experiences and growing in like a very steep, like effortless way, rather than making every single day of your life such a grind and such like a, like forcing myself to grow. And no, bitch, you're like, if you continue to exist, you're going to continue to grow. Like that's, you don't have a choice really. So like, do you want to be relaxed and enjoy the ride? Or do you want to kick and scream the whole way? <laughs> yeah, well, well said. And it's like all this growth for what? Like, where's the growth? Where's the growth end at a point of relaxation? Like, <laughs> I just have that now. Then am I really growing or am I just expanding more, maybe deepening the, how much I can relax? And the growth is kind of informs, you know, when you do just, sit in it and relax right now because if that's not what it's all about then i don't know what is and it's just in response because it's not about like you know feeling good or comfortable it's about just being able to handle more and more and relax at that point but yeah the uh showing up and just like not having an idea that's been smacking me like this week like just certain situations i've, I've had thoughts about it and then I show up and everything's like fine you know everything goes great I actually like enjoy whatever it is whatever's going on and like but then when I'm not in the situation beforehand it's such a habit for me which I know it's not you know uncommon don't know that could just be the only one who does this but coming up with hypotheticals and like thinking about situations and, and whatnot and kind of like trying to mentally prepare but then the more you show up like you know, for you today, showing up and just not really knowing how it's going to go, what you're going to say, whatever, that's like building so much more faith in yourself versus, you know, showing up with a, with a game plan, with a preparation. And like, yeah, it's not as comfortable to show up without a game plan, without a preparation, but that's how you learn how to be yourself and, and how to get used to it. It's like waters that I haven't jumped in very much throughout my life. And I'm just jumping in the water a little bit more frequently, hanging out there a little bit longer. That's it. And then you kind of adjust to that as you go. But anyway, mm -hmm. do you want to, do you want to get started here soon? Yeah, I was actually going to say, and that being said, the only way to do shit is to do it. So let's fucking do the darn thing. Um, I'm going to grab a, That's I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going to grab a blanket and then I will be right back. Sounds good. <laughs> Damn, <laughs>